My name is Matt Jones. I'm the men's soccer coach at the College of St. Rose. Um, I'm also a, a director of First Touch Soccer USA, which is a, a organization based locally that uh, supports local town clubs or any club um, through training programs, through uh, coaching development, through providing trainers. Um, we are not affiliated with any one club. We uh, support all clubs, and we are not a club ourselves. We um, strictly are looking to help clubs retain their players as well as grow and keep, uh, keep, keep their members happy, okay? Um, today, the session that uh, is planned is, uh, what am I doing? I did improving technical ability through small-sided games. So, fancy name, all right? Um, basically, what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a variety of things. Um, right now, the boys are just doing a little warm up. Um, we'll get a lot of stuff going today in 1v1 with targets, numbers up situations. I'm a firm believer in numbers up situations in, in developing players and uh, giving them the success, but also giving them the pressure to do it um, with consequence. So we'll kind of get going here. I'll, I'll tend to talk to you, with you guys or to you. Um, feel free if you have questions to ask and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so the player's going across. Keep the ball going, player's going across. Just get high knees, high knees in. <clears throat> get uh, two, two and then high knees and then two and then heels. And let's pick up the pace a little bit. Let's go, let's get the ball moving. <clears throat> so today, we uh, right now they're just going through a warm up. Obviously we're gonna incorporate some sort of exercise, some sort of dynamic skill uh, or movement that's gonna go along while they're getting their touches in. So just trying to do two things at once in this warm up. Just get a little skip now out, skip it out on the way across. Skip, 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 skip. <clears throat> Good technique. Good firm pass, guys. Let's get it right to the target foot right now. Let's go. Concentrate on the technique. Let's get the ball low. They're training with small ball right now. This is a futsal ball, so hopefully it'll help them be a little bit more successful. This is a, a great way. It's actually newer in, the, in our country, but it's been, futsal's been very, very popular uh, throughout the world and actually is uh, one of the reasons why you see a lot of South Americans um, that have extremely good foot skills because when they grow up, they either play in outside in, in, in courts or they'll play in gym floors. Um, so the futsal ball is, is aimed to keep the ball flat. It's a little weighted. It doesn't bounce all over the place like a normal ball, okay? So, and just hold up, okay? So we'll do a little double pass. So one, two, back to you, and then off, okay? Off you go, go ahead. Double pass right back to him, back to him, and you go. Good. Keep the keep it big, Matt. Matty, don't don't shrink it. Double. Accuracy. Let's go. Get the accuracy in your technique right now. Okay, so we're just getting their legs going, getting some movement involved, and what we're gonna go into next is gonna be one v ones. Okay, so we'll do like a revolving door one v one with with a bit of pressure, and there will be transition involved in this. These guys are U17, I think there's a couple 16 year olds involved. Uh, these are U17s from Saratoga, uh, Wilton Soccer Club. Boys, they're not really excited that you're here. Did you hear, hear all the fans shouting for you? Okay, and relax. All right, so let's just get a ball. We'll start with a ball here with Noah, okay? Uh, Alex, you go in the front just so you know, okay? So what's gonna happen is they're gonna play the ball down. So no, you're gonna play it down. Go ahead and close them out. All right, first, good first touch out from your feet. You're attacking them 1v1. Can you get to the target player? 
All right, if Noah gets the ball, Noah, what are you going to do? If you get to the ball, you're going to play to Connor. You're going to come here, Aaron. You're going to go there. And then, Carl, you're immediately going to go transition. OK, off you go. Let's go. Let's see, Anders. OK, the targets are standing still right now. They're not able to move because we want to see if the, the attacking player can make the space to find the target. They're hiding a little bit right now. Can they move the defender so they can find the target? Well done. And quick transition defenders, read it. Let's go quick. Let's get it back going, Anders. OK, so. What we could focus on in this type of a setup, a variety of things, but we could focus on our attacking 1v1 techniques, okay? How to move, how to shift a player, uh, what we're trying to accomplish, all right? Obviously, you see a lot of these guys right now, they're just driving right into the defenders and making it pretty easy to defend. We also could talk about the 1v1 um, techniques of defending, how they're closing out, the speed of approach. Uh, is their body shape good? And as we look right now, um, you know, a lot of guys are flat on, okay? And we'd like to see them kind of sideways surf a little bit. So hold up and relax. Okay, so if I'm gonna play, if I get the ball, I'm gonna play to Matty and I'll shrink it so I don't have to move as fast. When I get there, I wanna have good, good closeout speed. So I wanna get there quick, boys, all right? And I wanna get sideways, so I'm sideways on, so I'm forcing him to play maybe to his weak foot if we know that, okay? If not, then just force him to the direction either where your help is, where the outside of the field is, or the inside of the field based upon what's going on, okay? So as I go, I close out. My last couple steps are short and sharp. I get low and I overplay to try and play and force the play, all right? So let's concentrate on that little bit of defending. Go ahead, play. And I like to try and focus on a variety of, uh, of skills that are present because you know, sometimes you, you can focus on one single topic if you know your team and you have five days of the week to train them, but we don't, most of us don't have the luxury to do that. So what I like to do is try and incorporate a lot of different co small coaching points that are important that they have to do and perform every game, every session. Okay, so if, they, if they're doing something wrong defensively, let's fix that. That's my philosophy. It's not the philosophy of probably the large part of our country, but that's okay. Um, I just like, that's what I find works for me. And I think as coaches, some things might work for you better than for somebody else. And that, I think that's the way that coaching is. So find what works for you. For me, this tends to work. Good. Let's see how the closeout is. Quick transition, come and close them out. Good, Carl, not bad, well done. And play. Come on, Ethan, come on. Close them out, good feet. And when can you tackle? Okay, and relax. So I'll give a quick coaching point, all right? As we close out, try and get in the rhythm, a defensive coaching point, so drive at me, you guys can go on. Okay, as, as he goes, I'm trying to time when I want to tackle based upon when he touches the ball. So touch, and then I want to tackle. I want to tackle the ball immediately after he touches the ball. Just as his foot touches the ball, all right, we want to get in the rhythm so that touch, tackle, touch, tackle, touch, tackle, all right? So if you can get that into your mind as they're dribbling at you, and then boom, touch, tackle, read it, and tackle the ball, all right? Go ahead, play here. So I'll give a, a couple coaching points on the uh, defensive aspect right now, see if they can be successful, and then hopefully be able to shift. Notice a lot of these guys, or shift to the attacking side, sorry. Uh, notice a lot of these guys, they don't zigzag at all. They go straight out, there you go, Ethan. Yeah, great one, okay? Let's keep it realistic to the game here. Can you get by, can you open up a channel? So they'll go right at the defender. They're not making the defender really have to do any work uh, as far as closing them out. They're not setting them up to go. There you go, Matty. Good job. Can you set them up, attacker? Can you get them going side to side? Good, good defending. Make it good and quick. Go ahead. When you win it, can you play to the next player early? So 
So we're giving them a little bit of when they win the ball, what are they going to do next with it? All right. If they win it and they just are kind of lackadaisical in the game, that's going to show. Right. They're going to be trained for that. So we're trying to give them when they win the ball, what's their decision going to be? Can they play to the next target player early and keep possession? Do it simple. Good. Play the next. Come on. Come on. Close it. Close it. Good, Aaron. Play. Good. Well done. Good speed. Good, Connor. Good closeout. Good. Well done to read it. And play. What's next? Play to the next guy. Close him out. Okay. And relax. Let's get the ball balanced out. Okay. We'll allow the target player, the next target player, to move side to side in between the cones. We'll still do the revolving door. All right. So it's going to carry on the same kind of rhythm. All right. Off you go. Go ahead. Play. <clears throat> So active players, Ethan, don't stand still. You're hiding behind him now. I'm giving you the opportunity to open up. Good. Can you play him early? OK, so find when the window's on to play to the target. Carl, be active. OK, and relax. So let's get this right. Aaron, you're out there with the ball. Noah, you're there. I'll be the target player. So as we go, we started out this way to stand still to try and make the attacker try and move the, the, the defender, okay? Right now, I want to give the power to the target players to move, all right? So, Aaron, as he goes, where's, where, where should I go to help you? Off to an angle, yeah? Okay, so I come over here, now I'm available. Now you play me quick, and we solve it, and we go, okay? And I'm off. So now the next player comes, Maddie, you're active, okay? Next group. Go ahead, knock it long and we'll play. Play, close them out, be active, be active. Find a window, play them early, good. Play them early, try and beat them with the pass. Good. Come on, be awake on the other side. Close out's got to be, stop, stay still. Hold up. So look, right now, the closeouts on both sides are far too slow. So you're not reading what's happening next. Everybody's not doing it. So as soon as you see that goal is going to be scored, you should be ready to go and close it out. All right? What does this mimic? This mimics somebody may be playing a pass backwards, and we're gaining territory. Okay, so as the ball goes backwards, you're squeezing up, you're that next line of, of pressure that needs to get there and close out the space quick. All right, so boys, let's work at that. Can we close out the space a little bit quicker, please? Go ahead, off you go. Close it out, try and get to the next half. Good, good, try and get there. Good, Maddie, close out, sideways surf. Good, unlucky, and off you go. Good job, Aaron, sideways on. Unlucky, come on, come on, feet, get your feet right. Ethan, don't stand. So you can see the tendency, and just a 1v1 with two targets right now, the target players just want to hang out and stand still, okay? So trying to get them, now there's accountability with it, all right? Because they're not having success right now based upon how those target players are moving, or I should say the lack of movement. Can you do it? Can you do it sharp, boys? Can you do it simple? Okay. See a lot of good tricks, right? But nothing that's happening very clean. You have the target start stationary first and then build up the movement? Yeah, that's what, that's what I do. I mean, you can do either way. You can start them out, move in. Um, what, you know, based upon the, the numbers, we, we would do, we could do. Uh, 1v1 in the box and with two targets and then just go inside to side and have them mobile right away. Um, it's pretty, this is pretty easy for any age really. Um, something you could use with any age. The idea is if the target's standing still, the, the attacking player has to think about moving where they're going to go. They're also probably going to have to get by them. All right, so instead now we're letting them off the hook a little bit with a pass, 
uh, before they're trying to get past them on a dribble. Face them. Okay, and relax. So let's get, uh, every player needs to have uh, somebody uh, wearing a different color. Somebody's wearing a different color. There's gonna be one of you out, and you need a ball, one of the balls in between the two of you. One player needs to be on this cone line, the red line here. One needs to be across on that side. Let's see how they can do it. So the instruction, these guys struggle with instruction, I'll be fair, and they can hear me too, so I'm not talking behind their back. So we'll see how long this might take. I could probably have a drink of coffee because I see them every week and I know. Okay, so how are we doing? Okay, so you guys don't play because you're not ready. We'll let you and you play, you and you play. You're in white, you're going against Will, stay there. You're playing against him. Go ahead, okay? So you guys just step off please, you guys are snoozing, go ahead. Okay, and now you guys have in between the blue cone there and the blue cone there. Anywhere in this line, anywhere in that line there. Okay, so as we play, I want Will, you're gonna, or Alex, you're gonna play to Will, and then you're gonna go close them out. You're playing 1v1, and you can go anywhere on this line, Will, to stop the ball. You don't have to stay in the channel. Okay, so your 1v1 game, you can bring them over there, and we're trying to stop the ball on the line on this red line here and that red line, the maroon line, okay? Alex, if you win the ball, you go and stop it anywhere on that line. The game goes on, we'll play for a couple minutes, all right? You got it? Start it with a pass, go ahead and play. Everything will start like it is right there when it goes out or the goal scored. Okay, so ball goes out, start back, so you close them out all the way there. So something I wasn't planning on doing, but um, this is a great game for, for, again, for kids of all ages. Um, for if you're working on 1v1, uh, we tend to, I tend to try and box them up, um, especially the younger ones, because then you have a little bit more control on where they're going and you're giving them boundaries, which is important for the little ones to learn. With the older guys, they need to feel comfortable dribbling and driving with the ball, as well as finding the free space, okay? So we're giving them a lot of freedom, and we'll see these guys, they seem to be staying kind of in their own zones right now. So, and relax, stop. So we'll use these two guys right now as an example, okay? Maddie, you have this whole space to score on. So if Ethan's coming here, hold up, guys, stop, stand still, please, okay? So where would you go? You're just going right at them. Why don't you go over there? You know what I mean? Okay. Hey, the same thing about the two other groups right now is why don't we interchange, maybe bring them into the space of somebody else right now, cause some confusion. Okay. Use the whole space that you're given right now. Don't stay in just the channel. Ready? You guys tired? No, you're working hard. Good job. Keep it up. All right. Go ahead. Play. So boys, hey. Go ahead, take them to the space, Anders. Anders, keep the ball, protect it with the outside foot. Got, hey. Go on, Alex, go on, keep going. Don't bring it back into the defender. Are right, you stopped? Will, good goal. And obviously this works on fa fatigue too, because they're, uh, they're getting a little tired, as you can see. So what we're gonna play is we're gonna play um, We'll have, two, it's gonna be 2v2 two two plus the two targets. We'll have two whites be the, the target players. You two guys, you groups, your groups will be in the middle. So we'll play within the blue, all right? Okay, and relax. Good job, boys. Everybody but Will, Noah, we need you again. You guys, let's get set in the middle here. Will, you're gonna be a bumper, a target player over there. Noah, you're gonna be a target player here. That group, you guys can rest, great job. Okay, much better in the second part. Alex, where are you going? Good job, buddy. Okay, uh, and we need a rock. So we're gonna go now to 2v2, plus the targets right now. Hold up, 
and good pass, and he's getting you involved. You know, he's getting you involved. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 2v2 in the middle part of the grid with two bumpers, so in turn, it's gonna be non-directional right now, so they can both score to either bumper, all right? Two versus two, when Will gets it, Will plays to the team that he got it from, okay? Fair enough, we're counting goals, one, two. You cannot score twice in the same time, so if Noah gives it to Connor, go ahead. When you pass it back to him, it doesn't count as a goal, okay? But you can do it to keep the game going, all right? We can go bumper to bumper, and that counts as a goal if Blue's in possession. Fair enough, off you go. Bumpers you're moving to, be mobile. How about a bit of communication, great. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. So see the beauty of uh, the futsal ball. It actually will settle for the guys. So when he chooses to, to loft it in the air, the ball will actually, I don't, has anybody used futsal balls? Yeah, yeah. Anybody not use futsal balls? Cool. I'll show you. It's actually pretty good. It's hard, it's, it's pretty firm, but I could even have a good touch without touching the ball, you know? So it's good for the little ones, especially, uh, you know, everybody thinks, I hope Afram doesn't hear me, but everybody thinks that, um, you know, you have to be on turf fields all the time or grass fields all the time. It's great to mix in, if you have the resource of gym, it's great to mix that in as well as have those turf fields available, okay? So complement the training because here the speed of play is actually very quick. Um, the ball arrives faster, the players have to be quicker with their thought process, their movements have to be a bit sharper because they can't get erratic. Well, if they do, they don't get rewarded. Do we have any score? Okay, good. Good job. Good. Okay, and relax boys, good job. So what we're trying to see right now, what it opens up for everybody to see is this, this part of the session right now is still a small sided game. Um, we do have goals, they're just players, okay? These guys right now, because it's a four versus two, they're now looking at supporting angles. They're also looking at when can we penetrate. Okay, so guys, let's be a little bit more vocal amongst each other. If the ball needs to go back to be able to split, let's do that. Let's give that voice, give that information. Go ahead, play. And tell him if he can turn. Good, what's on? Can we do it quicker? Connor, don't force it. Okay, and stop, stand still, hold up. We'll get the ball. Actually, we'll start with Carl. Carl, you have it out there. Quickly to Carl. Connor, we're gonna work with you, all right? So what happened here is, as, as you played back, Connor was inside, right? So now he's not only taking away the penetrating run to, or the penetrating pass to play into Noah, he's also not providing the angle of support. We see it? Okay, so what do you have to do? How's your movement? Good, okay, so his movement before was like this, running this direction, the ball gets played here, it's gonna go out of bounds, okay? Whereas if he does the body shape early, he just boom, back pedals, and now if the defender comes with me, what's your choice gonna be? You're gonna pass to me if he comes with me. I'm good, I know, but why not choose that guy? Why not choose that one? What? Right Do you guys understand? No. <laughs> okay, so look, the defender's there, the other defender's here, and you're going to pick to him? You get a goal by going there. Oh, good, all right. It's all right. I know who your dad is. All right, go ahead, play. Good, great. It's not on play. Okay, good job. Yes, there you are. Good, give him a little bit louder. And again, come back middle. Is it on? Come on, pressure, pressure. Is it on? Good, keep it, keep it, keep it. Ah, right here, right? 
Right here, Carl. Play. Off you go. Body shape and play to the target. If it's on, get it there. Was it on? So now we show that, well, I could show him. I'm going to let him play. All right. Noah's a pretty good player. I think he knows. Um, maybe. Um, but the, the two defenders come in. So a teaching point for him right now would be, OK, the two defenders come together. Where do we play the ball? Look to the wide. The penetration's not on. All right. So hopefully next time, Noah, right? You'll get it. It's not on. Play back. Good. We could put a touch limit on them if we want them to move it quicker. I'm, pretty ha I'm happy with what they're doing right now. That's the decision. Good job. The defenders were tight. He fixed it on his own. So I didn't have to go crazy on him and start yelling at, the, at, at him and making him feel poor. Uh, he did it on his own. Great job. What's on? Almost. Yes. Well done. Off him. Diag. Good. Okay, and freeze. We'll come back to that exact same rhythm. So over there, Aaron and Noah. Okay, so now we can start to deal with the relationships. So Carl, just come back here. I think you were in here, right? Because you were coming to Noah. So in here. All right. So Aaron went down. We can start to talk about relationships amongst the two wide players. Okay, so he's out wide. He's out wide. They're doing a good job to provide width, but... If they stay on the same level, the two defenders are probably going to be able to recover and win the ball back. So what we're going to look for is for the two of them to be on different angles. Okay, so the ball went to Aaron. Aaron, do a little bit better job this time of, okay, that's fine. Go back though. Just go down, do your body shape a bit better so you receive it with your front foot. That's a good technical pass, by the way. I'm not saying that he shouldn't do that. Um, receive it, I'd prefer that if we can. So. What I'm looking for is for, for Noah to be at a diagonal from Aaron, okay? So from there to here to there, okay? So now if you play it back, Noah goes down, your movement, Aaron, should be up and away. So you play off of relationships with each other. Now don't come to the middle because you're going to take him out of the game. Keep your width. Go ahead, play. So now I'm asking them to kind of look to where the other player is, trying to increase their awareness of each other, their spatial awareness, because I don't want them to really come in and block the targets. And as you go outside, this is a perfect way. Um, I'll show you actually, uh, I might have to play for a moment, okay? I'll show you towards the end how we can put two of these side by side, and it'll actually be the game. It'll be eight versus eight. Uh, side by side with two bumpers. Good, go ahead. Quick, quick, quick. Can we speed it up? Uh oh. You just bought it. So guys, we're gonna come on. So we'll go into our uh, the four v four now. So I want you guys to take out the colors of. So take out the two greens. We'll get two new greens. All right. It's gonna be instead of bumpers, everybody's gonna be inside. So it'll be four versus two inside the grid. All right. Remember. It'll be just that. Grid just right? that little grid. Yeah. Okay. All right. Make it big. Um, take take somebody out in your color. Let Noah stay. All right. Take Will. All right. We're gonna go over here though. Okay, and good. So Noah, you're gonna be involved. Everybody else have a little breather, grab a drink. Well done, boys, good job. Okay, so come on in, let's go. No, you guys go. So we're gonna play two teams versus one team, four versus two, okay? Numbers up game for possession, okay? What we're looking for is we're looking to keep the width, keep the height, okay? Width and height to make sure that we have good supporting angles. When we win the ball, make sure you're sharp in awareness of who you took it from and play away from that player. Link your pass quickly. Who wants to defend first? Blue wants to defend, good. Play. Get your angles, don't be flat. Good. We'll give you seven passes equals a goal. One, count them. Okay, so now I'm giving them a little bit more freedom of movement to see if they can soar down on themselves, the spatial awareness, 
All right, four versus two, or two teams versus one. So uh, is anybody, everybody familiar, not familiar with this, anybody? Okay, so basically what's going on is, what we have is two whites, two blues, and two greens, obviously, and two teams will play against one team. So right now, blues are defending. If the blues win the ball, okay, they take it away from green. They have to play to, they'll play with white. So blue and white now become a team and then green would now be defending, okay? So it's a transitional game, but also good for possession. Uh, again, most drills, most drills can really address any topic that you'd like. Uh, I said this in my last session. Uh, you really can pick your coaching points in any exercise. If you find some exercises, I used to try and reinvent the wheel and used to do, think that a good session was one that, one, I've never seen before, two, I've never done before, and you know, three, I thought it had to be different every time. And it's, I've learned that for me, that that doesn't work. What works for me is find a few sessions that I really think the players enjoy, that I can find my coaching points out of, but also mimic portions of the game. That's the most important. All right, um, we all try to over coach at times and I think it's important for us to be comfortable with a handful of exercises. You know, you can build off of uh, these types of things. We build with our college guys, again, these are any age, um, these type of exercises. They're building on their first touch, they're getting their movement, they're getting awareness. Um, you know, they're, they're starting to get decisions and you really want, Everybody says you shouldn't have for U8s and U10s tactical decisions. Well, there's got to be some sort of decision for the little guys to make. Because if you don't have them make it at U8 and 10, they can't make it at 12, and then they'll struggle to make it at 14 and 16. And now you've got players that might be technical, but they've never had to make decisions. So I'm a firm believer in if you do 1v1, there's decisions to be made in 1v1s that U8s, U10s can deal with. All right. Now, we can de agree to disagree, that's okay, that's fine. Again, this, this is my personal preference. Do we have a goal yet, boys? Good. So this game is obviously not a directional game right now. It's more of a passing game, possession game, that they're getting goals based upon numbers of passes. Okay, I could make it a little bit more difficult for him and say white can't pass the white, blue can't pass the blue. You can't pass in the same color. Turnover, quick, quick, blues. Can't pass in the same color. So now, so now they have to get a little bit of movement, their awareness gets up. They've gotta be aware of where their partner is and hopefully, most importantly, the two other supporting players. Essentially, it becomes three versus one or I'm sorry, three versus two. Good. Take a touch, take a touch. Good and play. Good. You all right? Good. Okay, back to regular. You can play to anybody. Go ahead, play. Let's go, Blues. Come on, defend. 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 The Blues have been in for a while, huh? Oh, red card. Go ahead, play. Okay, and we'll let them get a breather. Guys, grab a quick drink. Good job. Hey, quick drink. Yo, yo. They don't really care, they, they want to get it right. Okay, that's good. Um, so as we go, what we'll build into now is gonna be 3v3 plus the to two targets. We'll make the game a bit bigger, all right? Obviously now we're gonna let, not obviously, we're gonna have direction, okay? So it's gonna be 3v3, you've gotta to play to your target. When the target gets the ball, they've gotta play with uh, the opposite team. So it'll get a target goal, and now they're quickly uh, defending. So we're getting a bit of the transitional movement. We're definitely getting direction now to the game, okay? Guys, you ready?
Okay, let's get three, three blues, three greens, and we'll have a white and a white, and we need a ball. Blues, you're gonna defend that side. Greens, you're gonna defend that side. Alex, could I have a ball, please? Why do you use your hands still? Okay, so we're playing directional. Blues, you'll always be defending here. Greens, you'll always be defending there, okay? There's no goals other than getting to the targets. The targets can work in between the two yellow cones right now. Will, in between the two yellow cones there. So he's trying to wreck it. Okay, who wants to defend? Okay, whoa, play. Good. Come on, work at your shape. You can use your supporting player. You can use your supporting target. Thank you. Ball's out, bring it back in. You can start it with a dribble or a pass. Go ahead. That's okay. Talk to him, talk to him, play. You wanna play, you want me to play too, don't you? Good, can you penetrate? Can you penetrate? Unlucky. Ooh. Okay, so the game is, now this game's kind of putting me to sleep. So these guys, you know, they create the environment. I hopefully create part of the environment, but ultimately the players are the ones that bring the energy. And I could, I usually, if this wasn't on video or I didn't have this, I would be getting them going a little bit. Nurturing them along. <clears throat> Okay, and relax. So what was the first part of the session, boys? After we did our warm-up, 1v1, what were we working at? What were we talking about? Transition, what, what, what else? What was, the ball got passed to Ethan and what happened? So, okay, so they did the session. They don't even know what happened about 20 minutes ago yet. So Ethan, I'll give you a refresher. I had the ball, all right? Remember, we're going side to side, imagine it, right? I played to you, I went and did this, I closed you down, and now I got you sideways on. Do we remember that, boys? Yeah. Awesome, good. Okay, so when he gets the ball, what are you doing? What are you gonna do when he gets the ball? Okay, I'll have the ball quick. So watch me. Yes, good, okay? So the speed right now is not realistic because the defensive pressure is too slow. We're not closing the space out. So when you play to him, you need to go and close it out. You two need to come down and cover up. Well, you're going the other direction, aren't you? Play to green, and we're playing live. Go, close it out, close it out. Good, and pressure, pressure. Get closer, good. And keep it, keep it. What about him, Will? Ah, they get a goal because we give it away. Keep the ball. Where's your angles? Your angles. Where's your angles? Good. Unlucky. And off we go here. Let's go. Come on, come on. Utilize the space. Play with them. Quicker, quicker. Good. What's on, Tyler? Don't come all the way in. Stretch it. Stretch it. There's no touch limit. Notice how they're playing it, trying to play in two, which I really like. But maybe there's a time and spit a place here to where they need to try and be comfortable to dribble by somebody. All right? Obviously, part of it, I was focusing a little bit more on the defensive components, but good. Go ahead, play, score it, score it. Good defending. Green ball. Okay, and relax. So, ball, freeze. So look at green, how's your shape? Flat, okay. 
What about the relationship between Anders and Maddie? Huh? Same level. Same level right now. So where do you need to go, maybe? Yeah, create some space. Work in behind these guys, okay? Because look, if the ball can beat these two players and you get it, you're getting a goal, all right? You and you have to be aware, right? Remember, opposites. So if it plays back, then you can go in and be there. But don't stand in that space that's easier for Connor to defend. Okay? Right now, what's the advantage, players? The playing the team with the ball, what's your advantage? I'll give you, it's, it starts with numerical. So what's your advantage? Good man, all right. It's one, two, three, four, five versus three. Okay, so think of it. If we play that, do you want to play that in this space here, this half, or do you want more space? Attackers, more space. So don't shrink it for yourself. Make the space for each other. Go ahead, play. Try and, Maddie, be opposite of them. Good, and turn and get the goal. Well played. Now defend, get ready to defend. No. We're playing directional, right? So if green score, the blues get the ball. Play to Will, play to Blue. Play to Will, play to Blue. Off you go. Connor, be aware. Where is he? You're on the same level right now. Be opposites. Now you can arrive. You go out. Good. Get above it. Can you get above it? Good. So technically, you can see that these guys are pretty good. They're pretty good receiving, passing. Comfort with the ball is not bad. All right? Where these boys struggle, is where every, a lot of players of the level, 16, 17 years old, will struggle. Keep going, I'm talking about you, but you don't have to listen, okay? So these guys will struggle in awareness, decision making, and movements, right? The movement off of the ball. What we try, I try to help create is players that can not only play one position, but are comfortable in the game, okay? Um, the game changes, if you have the ball, it doesn't matter, your decisions will change based upon where you are on the field, but you know, you're still a player. You have to be able to make the right decision. Your first touch has to be good. Come on, go pressure, close it out. I actually like, I play with these guys and they're, they're good, they're, they are good players, but it is a lot of fun because uh, they do give you time and space with the ball, and any player is good when they have time and space, even at an old age. Good, good, that's good. Go ahead. Good job, okay, and relax. So what we're gonna do, boys, is we're gonna play, let's add two, so a green and a blue. We'll play 4v4. Whites, you're gonna be off. White, uh, greens, which way are you attacking? This direction, right? Blues, you're defending in between the, the red line and the mats, all right? Blues, you're trying, to, I'm sorry, blues, you're defending there. Greens, you're attacking there, okay? Greens, you're defending between the red line and the mats, all right? So what we've got to do is we've got to play to a player that arrives into that position, okay? You got it? And I'm going to move that, but that's how we're going to start. Go ahead, play. Off you go. No limits. So I've given them a really small space. They're not going to be successful right now, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it for them. Good. And pressure, pressure. Good, good feet, good feet. Interchange, don't be flat around the back there. Have your angles. Go at them, go at them. Freeze. Blues, two push-ups quickly. Pressure's not even close to good enough. Come on, these guys want to see what's going on in the game. You've got to make it realistic. Go pressure the ball. You've got to win the ball back. Go play. Go pressure, closest one, pressure. Good, good. Good effort, and get the goal. Okay, you've got to play to somebody in there. Good, good.
Almost, you've got to play to somebody in there. Nope. Oh, sub. Okay, so I've changed the, the end zones are now between the yellow and the mat, the yellow cones and the mat. So a little bit easier. I know I set you up to fail there. All right, off you go, play. You've got to play the player that's in that zone. Go ahead, play, play, play. Don't be flat, get your angles, get your angles. Come on, it's okay. First touch will set you up there. Don't go and hide and keep it. Play. So one of the topics that we get a lot of requests for is, in turn, it might not be a direct ask, but ultimately coaches wanna know or teach their players when they can pass, when they can penetrate, when they can dribble, when they need to go backwards, okay? It's probably the hardest thing to teach is getting a player to understand when I need to dribble, when I need to pass and penetrate, when I need to go sideways or backwards, okay? So our thought process in our teaching is if you can't go forward, so if it's not a good idea, whether it's a one versus two, all right, or the lanes are blocked, if you can't go forward, look sideways and then look backwards. So a simple three-step progression is when you talk to a player, you say, okay, well, this was there and I'll, I'll find it in here. This guy was there, why did you go forward? Okay, what should you have done? Turn that way, there's nobody there to support, then go there. So it's something I do with our college guys all the time, is stop them, ask them, and then help them make a better decision and understand that they're just giving the ball to the opponent. But again, those decisions, U8s, U10s, U12s, need to be making. They need to be able to know when they, when they run into somebody, that's not a great thing to happen. All right, try and get them to realize that. Okay, go on, let's go. Can you stretch it, can you stretch it? Okay, so you guys are flat, right? Maddie, Anders, you guys are flat, yes? So we're not gonna have success there. Okay, you've got to be at angles, either behind it or ahead of the ball, so now you can penetrate and split. All right, the two defenders just squeeze you in. Go ahead, play. Play to the target if he's in there. Good, and drop off. Good, Connor, good decision. Good. Freeze, stop, stand still. Okay, that, there's, there's the image right there. So, Carl, you get the ball. Anders, come back in here. Okay. So, defenders on your back, not much advantage there. What should we have done? Well, he was on him when I passed it. No, when you take, took your first touch, oh, he was here. Right, so you took four touches, and yeah. by the time the fourth touch came around, then he was not, right? Because then he went there. Right, so, boom, play, go ahead, off you go. Okay, play. So sometimes they have selective amnesia as well. All right, so we have to help them f figure that out. Sometimes I'll paint the picture that didn't happen too, so it's, I'm guilty as well. So it's not just them. <clears throat> okay, and relax. Boys, if you could pick up all the gear, return the, the futsal balls, in, uh, just knock them over there. Actually, before you pick up the gear, come on out here, please. Quick. Yo, come here. Before the, so the, the listing part is awesome. Right here, on the yellows. No? Okay, just flatten out. Okay, so obviously I appreciate these guys, their hard work and everything like that. Um, they did a very good job. So uh, these guys are not typically training on this surface, so I'll give them a little bit of a cop out that it's a, a bit quicker of a surface, but they do train on the small turf, the real thin turf, so it is pretty quick. And I think, uh, as you can tell, 
These guys have pretty good feet for U17 group. Um, their, their touches are very good. These guys have been working with our program, uh, with First Touch Soccer USA, uh, going on a year and a half, um, nearly into our finishing our second year, okay? Um, I won't talk about them too bad while they're here, but uh, I'll say a couple things. And I think some of the, the parents might be able to um, say yes or no. Um, when we, when we started working with the group, we had an awesome, ambitious coach um, that's very, very knowledgeable. One of the most knowledgeable coaches in uh, the Saratoga um, club. And he asked us to come in and, and do some sessions with these guys. It started out just once a week, and we, we had our involvement. And I think the boys, you know, they responded really well. And, when we first got them, you know, you, you think, okay, this is a group of pretty, of decent uh, club level players, and they, they worked their butt off for the full year last year and, and continue to do so. And we amped up the, the program this year to two times a week, and we also helped them with their games as well and tournaments. These guys went out, um, where did you guys go? Seacoast Tournament, which is a premier club in, in New Hampshire. Okay, these guys this year just went out and uh, they won that, the Seacoast Tournament. Now it's not all about wins and losses, but when you can see a group of kids that really work hard, these guys very, very rarely miss a training session. And you know, one, for me, that's fantastic because we always know that we're gonna get hard work out of them, good kids, and we're gonna have numbers to do something. Um, but two, that also tells that they're enjoying and they're having fun in the development that they're doing, which is the most important part of it. If they were turning up and there's three or four kids, I know I'm probably not doing a good job. Um, I'm not saying I'm doing a good job, I'm just saying these guys have an extreme passion for what they're doing. And, the, and I can, it's, it's absolutely tremendous to see the development that they've done. Um, they also went, where else did we go? MPS, Scorpion Bowl, and they've had success. Basically what I'm saying is they had their mindset uh, two years ago of what they wanted to do. They wanted to get better as a group. And they wanted to get better at individual. They wanted to do the right soccer decisions, okay? And these guys, um, you know, I don't give them a lot of praise often, so this is their praise probably for the last two years. Um, so they've done a very, very good job at working extremely hard, but this, this group here is like any other club in, in our area, in the country, that if you focus at development for the players, our goal wasn't to win, our goal was to develop. Their goal was to develop, and I think they wanted to win a little bit, but the main goal was to develop and get better. And uh, they have, um, and they've got tremendously uh, better. So I just want to you know, recognize those guys for the work they did, and I appreciate their hard work for you guys as well, because they made the session go good. All right, thanks guys. Pick up all the gear. Okay. Um, so one of, uh, one of the things, obviously, I will give uh, anybody that's interested in a session, um, my email, if you have a, a, a pen, firsttouchsoccerusa at gmail.com. And I'll give you a nice, beautiful looking color session. And I'll give you the one that I did this morning as well. Okay? Um, so if you just email me, say, um, coach, or whatever you want to call me, just be nice, okay? Um, it, it, just say, hey, I, I'd love to, to have a copy of the sessions you did today, um, and I'll send those on. Just give me 24 hours, and I'll get that out to everybody that uh, requests.